To the Silent D Motor Show. I'm your host, Silent D. Today we're going to take a look at the seventh generation Ford Thunderbird. In a key marketing shift for Ford, this generation changed market segments, shifting from a full size car to the larger end of the intermediate segment. Yes, that's right, this big American land yacht wasn't actually considered full size at the time. I guess uh, everything really is bigger in America. Anyway, the smaller size combined with a smaller price tag made it the best selling Thunderbird of all time, with almost 1 million sold from 1977 to 1979. I just had the privilege to meet Tony, the owner of this beautiful Survivor. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. What are we looking at here? Made 1977, uh, Ford Thunderbird, 6.6 .6 cubic inch or or uh, a 400 cubic inch rather than 6.6 .6 in English. It's original, so it's it's probably as what they refer to as a survivor. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's beautiful, it really yeah, is. It, it hasn't had a hard life at all. The, the, the interior of the car has got uh, some bleaching um, over the years. The sun has uh, bleached some of the colouring, but there's no damage as such uh, from uh, any objects. No, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Yeah. Does yeah. it drive as beautifully as it looks as well? It certainly does. And I think we should, uh, good excuse, we'll take it out. <laughs> okay, let's do it. wanted to create their own niche like personal luxury car I mean the first Thunderbirds only had two seats right absolutely yeah, so then later they added uh, um, the seats in the back too yeah their first Thunderbird was quite a small car um, and then they got a lot 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 bigger and then they course. got smaller again of uh, course yeah Tony can I try driving this yes you can yes you certainly can It's extremely comfortable though. Wow. No, it is. It just floats along. And and in a way, a really nice American car is uh, boring. Because there is nothing you need to do except put it in drive and gently squeeze the throttle. The car is designed for you not to do anything so it's not hard work yeah, yeah. it's almost a shame that they couldn't figure out how to get the thing into drive automatically <laughs> you know yeah because i'm sure they would have sold more cars <laughs> if you didn't actually have to drive the thing <laughs> right Steering is so, so super light and everything is just so easy. A baby could drive this car. And the seats are so comfortable, or the seats I should say, so far rather. I mean, if you put this up, the Oh yeah, the yeah, the have a, what they call a split bench seat. Yeah. yeah. Well, here we are at the end of the road. Uh, so that uh, also marks the end of this episode. Thank you so much for letting me uh, drive your car. And thank you so much to you for watching. If you enjoy this kind of videos, then please click the like button, click the subscribe button, and I shall see you next time. Bye now. This car is actually for sale, and it's very affordable too. May I suggest you throw on some 20 inch steelers and slam it to the ground like these guys did, and you have yourself a killer ride. Contact me if interested, and I shall put you in contact with the owner.